any of you are wondering, hey, is that 14 inch cobalt hatchet at Lowe's any good? Should I buy it? That's what we're gonna find out. Let's get into it. Welcome back to the channel guys it's Wes I am with I am from I am mid go oh you know what I forgot Dave be right back Dave I was gonna say we were gonna have to cancel this whole thing if I couldn't find you the whole thing was gonna be next welcome back to the channel guys I am Wes and I am with I am from I am Midgard Axe how's everybody doing out there my Midgardians the new people that are coming in the channel, welcome. So today I got a little cool little treat for you guys. Um, I had someone request the 14 inch hickory handled cobalt hatchet from Lowe's. Um, they really wanted me to do a review on this one and that's what I'm doing. Uh, I'm gonna put some video in of me throwing in this and uh, we're gonna just jump right into it, okay? So before we get into the hatchet, I just wanna cover something really quick, guys. It's hot out here. I'm sweating. I've already wiped my face down a hundred times in between this video. It is what it is, so we're just going to have to deal with me pouring sweat, okay? All right. As you can see, there's one thing on here that I'm already going to complain about. This rubber bit cover. I don't know why they keep putting rubber bit covers on these hatches and axes. They got all these warning labels back here telling you what to do and what not to do for our safety. If you're really concerned with our safety, just make a sheath, okay? S-Wing was able to make one. You guys can make one. Charge another 5 or $10. Give us a sheath, okay? These rubber bit covers deteriorate, they fall apart, you cut them in half, and they're no good anymore. I will say this one's a little bit more robust than the still one is, but I can guarantee you what someone's going to do or somebody's already done is when you put this bit cover on, you have to pull it up to stretch it. And someone's not paying attention or their hands are wet, and they go to pull this up to put it on there, they're going to slip, and they're going to cut their finger. So if you guys really cared about our safety, give us a freaking sheath for all things safety related give us a sheath stop putting these on there guys there's no sheath to toss so we're going to toss this uh rubber bit thing of jiggy over here anyway okay so what do we got here we have a 14 inch hickory handled one and a quarter pound head with a almost three and a quarter inch bit so you do get a pretty good bit length okay Starting from our, the top and working our way down, okay? So they did, um, this this hatchet reminds me a lot of the steel hatchet. It, it's almost half the same way. Um, they didn't display it proud over top of the eye like I like, um, but they did uh, seat it with a steel barrel wedge in there, which is nice. Um, it's nicely splayed out in there. So we'll see uh, from throwing if it holds up. Okay, the uh, head um, does have a nice cutting profile. And I will say, with this axe for only being 20 bucks, the profile on it is actually pretty nice. Um, is it sharp? Not really. Um, it's okay. Uh, I can make it a lot sharper. And I will tell you guys this. It, it's really kind of dulled a little bit since I've been throwing it, and I haven't been throwing it that much. It, I can tell that it's not as sharp as it was when I got it. So we'll, we'll check. We'll keep an eye on that tempering at the edge there and see what's going on with it but it is a little bit duller than i got it and i really haven't thrown it that much okay um down here at the bottom i don't see any holes any gaps or anything down here um it looks like they probably press fitted on there but it looks like it's 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 holding up pretty decent um i would like to see that wood splayed over top just for fitment sake but you know we'll see um handle has a nice profile to it um i don't mind this hook here uh, it doesn't have a very, it doesn't have a flared knob at the bottom at all. It's the same contour all the way up and down, which is nice. And um, yeah, other than that, the, the handle is pretty nice. It's a little bit thicker in here. Um, I might thin it down some. Um, it does need to be thinned down in this area, but all in all, the, the contour is not bad at all. Um, polyurethane, guys. 
polyurethane. They put polyurethane on it and they did some painting weird mess down here. Guys, when I was throwing this, when I was sweating earlier and pouring sweat, my hands were sweating. I was throwing this. It was slippery as I don't know what. I really wish they'd stop putting polyurethane and paint and all this other mess on the handles. I really wish they'd stop doing it. And if you go on their website, which I'm going to put a thing up now, uh, giving you what I found on the Lowe's website for this description of the ax. And I'll put it on here now. Um, they, they, you could see in there, it's almost worded in a way where it's like, we sealed the wood for you. Isn't that nice of us to do? Come on, we all know you guys didn't seal the wood for us. You put polyurethane on it and make it look nice in the store. Look, if you just want to, if you want to make it nice and clean in the store, whatever. But don't don't sell it to us like you're doing us a favor. You're not doing us a favor by doing that, okay? But they did polyurethane, which that's you know we'll get into that in a minute. Um, and then this paint mess down here. Um, if you guys, uh, I'm going to put another video in. When I first walked into Lowe's, I went through a couple of different ones, uh, and I chose this one. Um, I found a really nice handle on one of them. And um, vertical grain, hardly any run out at all. But then when I flipped it over and started looking at it, it had a crack in it already, sitting on the shelf with a crack. Well, I took it back and gave it back to the people at Lowe's up at the counter and said they really don't need to sell that. It's already starting to break. So uh, at least they took it off the shelf so no one else was going to buy it. You know, you guys look out for your fellow fellow uh, man, your fellow consumer. You guys find broken stuff, don't put it back on the shelf because someone's going to buy it not realizing it. I took it back up there and turned it in and said, you guys can't sell this like that. And the lady was very nice, took it away. It was, it was, it worked out. But um, I went with this one and I'm kind of glad I did. Um, Throwing this axe uh, has been really, really nice. Um, not really any issues throwing it. I've beat it up, uh, put it through its paces so far. It's done really well. Um, there's not much I can say about it, guys, other than it flies really well, and I had a good time throwing it. I'm actually shocked. 20 bucks, if you go on the website and look, it's got a little over 100 ratings, at least uh, from my zip code. It's got a little over 100, 100 ratings, and they're all five-star. Um, someone did ask me to review this. And I was a little concerned with it being so cheap because, guys, it's only 20 bucks. And I was worried that I was going to get it and it was just going to break really easily and it was going to be, you know, kind of a waste of time. Um, now, I'm not done with this. There's going to be a part two, but so far, for 20 bucks, not bad. Not bad. It is made in Mexico. Um, I'll get uh, part two, I'll go into more of the details on it. I didn't do a total deep dive into like everything, um, but it is made in Mexico. It says that on the back. It does come with stickers, you know, their their name and all the safety nest back here, which I don't know why they do that. But um, guys, for 20 bucks so far, so good. We'll see how it holds up, though. I will say, I don't know if you guys can see this, the, the forging, the bit is a tad wonky, okay? It is a little wonky. Um, it looks like it's kind of, see how I can look at it from here. It looks like it's kind of has a, a slight curve in it like this. I don't know if you guys can see that or not. Let me get out of the way. I don't know if you can see that or not, but it does have a slight kind of like bend in it. So it's not as bad as it still was, I can tell you that. This is manageable, I can deal with this. And with my file, um, I can correct the bit. Um, it's not too bad, so you can correct that. But I don't know guys, I don't know what else to tell you. 20 bucks, so far so good. So getting into the changes I'm gonna make to this. I can tell you already, this handle needs to be thinned, okay? When I hold my ax handles, guys, I told you in a couple other videos that I like my middle finger to barely touch the pad right here, so I've got some thinning to do on this one. Polyurethane, of course, all this mess is coming off. Paint's coming off. All this labeling and all this mess is gonna come off, okay? Um, and what I'm gonna do is, is I'm going to probably polish up this ax head. I think it'd look really cool. It's already kind of polished a little bit, so I'm gonna give it a really, really cool looking polish on it, polish it up. Um, for 20 bucks, guys, I'm not going to spend a ton, a ton of time on this, but I tell you what, if I end up throwing this axe and it does really well and it holds up, I might put a little bit more work into it, um, but I am a little concerned about this edge. We'll see how this tempering uh, continues to go. We'll see how it works. But all in all, guys, pretty good axe for 20 bucks. Um, I would wait for my round two video before you run out and buy this and say, yes, he told me it was great. Not so fast. I haven't thrown it a ton. I have thrown it a bunch, but not a ton. And until I throw this thing a ton, um, I'm not going to give you my final opinion on it until part two. So, um, guys, come back for part two on this axe. Watch what I do to it. Watch how I transform it. And um, we'll see how it, how, it, uh, how it likes to fly. I just want to say to everybody, thanks. Thanks for your support. 
Thanks for commenting. Thanks for emailing me. Uh, there was a couple of you, sorry, Adam, I missed you, man, but there was a couple of you that uh, came by and, and stopped and uh, hung out with me on 4th of July at my house. Uh, a lot of you guys are local, and a lot of you guys are local in my neighborhood, so I appreciate the people that came over and hung out on 4th of July. I told you guys I'm very personable. Thanks for coming over. I hope everybody had a great 4th of July. I know we did, and um, we're going to see what this thing has to offer, so stick around, come back and check out part two, and then afterwards, guys, if it holds up, it's going to one of you, so until next time, guys. See ya. Literally the worst mic in the world. I'll put you right there so then when I start moving around, you'll flop over. Or my beer will get caught in it and flip over some more. Piece of junk. I ain't got a new one. I thought you were going to get me horsefly, well, didn't you? Gotcha. We had an influx of horseflies, man. Things are everywhere. I'm killing those things left and right. I cannot stand. I don't mind bees, wasps, whatever. I cannot stand a horsefly. They, they just love biting you, and they'll circle you, too. They're not like a wasp or something that'll come around, and you swoosh, you know, chew it away, and it'll go away. And the horse flies are like, oh, I'll just circle back. Yeah. Bad idea. Dead.